Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. In this tutorial we will talk about copying. So we will learn how we can copy mutable elements with the built-in copy module and the difference between shallow and deep copies. And we will also have a look at how to make actual copies of custom objects. So let's start. And first of all, let's have a look at the assignment operator. So let's say we have a variable call it org and this is now a number. And now if you want to make a copy with an assignment, so we say copy equals original, then this will not make a real copy. It will only create a new variable with the same reference. So now both um, variables point to the same number. And now for immutable types like this integer, this is not a problem. So let's say if we change the copy, and say copy equals six, then this assignment will again create a new variable. So they, they are now both independent. So if we print the copy and if we print the original, they are different. But when we deal with mutable types, so for example, a list, then we have to be careful. So let's say we have a list here uh, with some elements. So let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we make a copy with this assignment operator. And then if we change elements of our copy, so let's say we want to change the first item and say this is now minus 10. And now if you print both the copy and the original, we see that also the original has the value minus 10 here. And this is because this assignment operator doesn't make an actual copy. So to make an actual copy, we can use the built-in copy module. So we can say import copy. And then we have to make a difference between shallow and deep copying. So a shallow copy is only one level deep. So at the first level, it makes an actual copy but then it only copies references of the nested child objects. And then there's the deep copy. So this will be an, a full independent copy. So let's start with, an, with a shallow copy. So to make a shallow copy, we can say copy equals copy dot copy and then the original. And now if we print both, we see that the original didn't get affected. So only the copy here has minus 10. And for example, with a list, there are several different options to make shallow copies. So we can also say um, copy equals original dot copy. So this will also work. Or we can use the list function and give it the original as an argument. This is also possible. Or we can use list slicing. So we can say org and then the slicing operator. So this will simply be from start to end. So this will copy all elements. And this will also make an actual copy uh, or a shallow copy. So this works fine if our element is only one level deep. And now let's say we have a nest or nested list. So let's say we have a first list here, a list inside a list, and then a second list here. So with some more elements. Um, sorry. So this is our original list. And now we make a shallow copy. And now we change an object or an item that is at the second level. So we say copy at index zero. So in this list and then again at index zero. So this element or for another example, let's make index one here. So this is this element. And now this we want to set to minus 10. And now let's see what happens. So if we run this, we see that both the or copy and the original now have minus 10 here. And this is because a shallow copy is only one level deep. 
So to make an actual copy in all the levels we have to make a deep copy so we can say copy dot deep copy and now if we run this we see that the original didn't get affected. So this is the difference between shallow and deep copying and um, for the built-in types like lists, dictionaries or tuples we can um, use these methods but we can also use um, it for custom objects so let's say we have a custom class and call it person and now in the init it gets self of course and then it gets a name and an age and then we say self dot name equals name and self dot age equals age and now let's create two persons person one equals person and now as a name it gets Alex and as an age let's say 27 and now let's make a copy simply by assigning it so let's say person two equals person one and now if we change person two dot age equals 28 and now if you print person 2.h and we also print person 1.h then we see again both got affected because this is not an actual copy so here we can use copy dot copy and now if we run this we see we have a shallow copy here so the original person didn't get affected um, but again, now if we have a deeper structure, so let's say, or let's first create our person class, and let's say we also have a class company. Um, this gets, this has an init method, so init self, and now this gets two persons. It gets a boss and an employee. So self dot boss equals boss and self dot employee equals employee. And now we create two persons. So one boss, so the boss might be older. And now a second person. Joe, who is a little bit younger. And now let's say we want to have a company. So we say company equals company with our person one and our person two. And now if we want to make a clone of this, so if we say company clone equals company or well, let's right away make a shallow copy so we can say copy dot copy and now if we change some variable here so let's say one boss turns a year older so let's say company clone dot boss dot age equals 56 now and now let's print this print company clone dot boss dot age and also print the age of the boss of the original company so let's say company boss age then again we see it got affected because this is only a shallow copy and the age is at the level 2 so this will again only be a copy of the reference here and in order to make this independent we have to say copy dot deep copy and now if you run this we see that the original boss is still 55. So this is the difference between shallow and deep copying. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial where we'll, we'll learn about context managers in Python.